Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. In today's video, we are going to look at the common mistakes made by students in the GCSE Maths exam. So today's topic is indices. And over the next few weeks, we are going to look at different topics and the common mistakes made. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. If you know what the common mistakes are and if you can avoid these mistakes, then of course you will not make them in your exam. Let me know in the comments what are the topics you want to see in this series of common mistakes video. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question, work out minus three whole cubed. Now, minus three whole cubed, and the common mistake students will make is they will write down minus three times by minus three times by minus three, and the answer they will write is 27, because three cubed is 27. Now, what mistake the students are making, they are multiplying minus 3 and minus 3, which they know is going to give us a positive 9, because we know minus 3 times by minus 3 is a positive 9. And they're finally forgetting that they are multiplying the 9 by minus 3. So if you multiply the 9 by minus 3, that gives us a minus 27, because a positive times by a negative gives us a negative answer. Okay, so make sure you write down the working in that way you will be able to see what numbers you are multiplying and then avoid this common mistake so the actual answer is minus 27 and this is worth one mark next we have work out the value of 3 to the power of 7 times by 3 to the power of minus 2 divided by 3 cubed now over here a common mistake students make is when they write down 3 to the power of 7 times by 3 to the power of minus 2, they will write down 3 to the power of 9. Now clearly they are avoiding the fact that there is a negative there, or they just completely missed it. So 3 to the power of 9 over 3 to the power of cube, that will give us 9 take away 3, 3 to the power of 6, because when we divide we take away the powers, and when we multiply we add the powers. Now there's another mistake they will make on this question as well, I'll go through that in a minute. Now let's correct this mistake first. Now because there's a negative there, we're going to work out 3 to the power of 7. When we multiply, we add the powers. So 3 to the power of 7, we're adding a negative 2 over 3 cubed. Now when we have a negative and a positive next to each other, we know we're going to take away. So 7 take away 2 is 5. So that would give us 3 to the power of 5 over 3 cubed. Now we can see we are dividing by 3 cubed, so 5 take away 3, which is 3 to the power of 2. Now a lot of the students, what they'll do is they'll leave it as 3 to the power of 2. But the question is asking us to work out the value. So do not leave it as a single power of 3. It's not asking us to leave the answer as a single power of 3, it's asking us to work out the value. So always make sure you work out the value if it asks you to work out the value. So 3 squared we know is 3 times 3 which is 9 and this is worth 2 marks. I just saved you a mark so make sure you hit the like button if you haven't done so. Negative power, so 80 to 1 to the power of minus a half. Now a common mistake students will make in their GCSE maths exam is they will write down square root of 81. So they will completely miss out the fact that it's a negative power. Now that will give us 9. Now if you write answer 9 here, ka-ching, finish, you will lose a mark. Okay, you might gain a mark just by working out the square root of 81, but you lose that easy one mark. So what you need to do is, when you have a negative power, we flip it over. So we can write it as 1 over square root of 81. And that will give us an answer of 1 over 9. So that's the answer, and that will give you 2 marks. Saved you another mark, didn't I? Next, work out the value of 3 to the power of 11 divided by 3 to the power of 4. I'm dividing this by 3 squared times by 3. Now, I'll tell you, this is a very common mistake and this costs people time in their exam. First of all, what they'll start doing is they will start multiplying 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 11 times. Don't do this. 
and to spend about five to ten minutes doing just this one question, which is only worth about two to three marks, and then end up losing more marks because they run out of time. So, you know the index rules, so use the index rules to answer this question. So when we divide, we write take away the power, so 3 to the power of 11 take away 4, which is 3 to the power of 7. And we're dividing this by, now let's do the second bracket, 3 squared times by 3. Now when there's no power on top of 3, we know there's a little 1 there, so 3 squared times by 3, we add the powers, that will give us 3 to the power of 3. Now we're dividing, so we take away the powers, so 3 to the power of 7 take away 3, which is 3 to the power of 4. Now this question is asking us to write down the value, so make sure you write out the value, do not leave it as a single power of 3. So 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. If you're not sure, write it down, 3 times 3 times 3, and that gives us an answer of 81, and this is our final answer. This question is probably worth about 2 to 3 marks. I'm just curious, what will 3 to the power of 11 give you anyway? 3 to the power of 11 is equal to 177, 177,147. Can you imagine that big number on a non-calculated paper? Will the examiner want you to work this out? No way, so do not make this mistake. So use your index rule. If you haven't checked out my index rule video, then please do check it out. I'll put the link in the description and I'll put the link on the top right hand side card as well. Now, if this video helped you, then please do hit that like button and also share it with your friends so that you can save them a few marks as well. Next video, we're going to look at what mistakes people make on estimating the mean questions. So in this series of videos, we're going to look at a few topics over the next few weeks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.